Hey folks, AJ the CEO here, and I am really excited about the fact that we've been doing a whole lot of installs, and during some of these installs, we build custom systems. Y'all know that I've done other videos in showing how we've built some of these, but we haven't done one recently, and I have since started offering the presentation system and the streaming one, which reminds me, I need to update that on my website, but on building one of these systems. And I wanted to go through building one of these again and show you all the new parts that we're using now with this system, which is honestly the base of what I'm moving forward with, with some of my systems. I've actually changed out some of the equipment that I use so that we can actually have some more growth in what we're doing. So let's go ahead and check out the parts that we're using. So for the processor and the base of what I'm using. I am using the Ryzen 7 5700G. Gives us more cores, more threads, a little bit faster performance, and it just sets us up in the future. The GPU has more um, compute units and I think threads and whatever. It just has more power in the GPU. So that is more than enough to handle two dedicated outputs um, that the motherboard is paired with it can support and then if you want to go with something different we can put in a different gpu an rtx 2060 30 60 40 60 or up whichever one that you want to be applicable for output and this is going to throw more than enough horsepower to it so that's what we're using we used to use a ryzen 5 5600g which has been rock solid for everything that's what i still use at my um, home ministry we're still sticking with the silicone power one terabyte nvme gets great performance has a five-year warranty on it i use these on my own personal systems as well too and honestly this one terabyte i was able to get from amazon for like 35 dollars so it's a real deal we are using our vengeance lpx um, 3600 megahertz 16 gigabit um, gigabyte um, memory module set, two sticks of eight gigabytes. I don't do anything less than um, 16 gigs. And honestly, the price, the performance is actually dropped down. So what I used to pay for 16, you can now get for 32. So that is an option um, if you're building something or maybe I need to put an option to upgrade memory on the website. But anyway, we got that. My motherboard of choice now I was still sticking with the Gigabyte. That was the DS3H, the micro ATX, small form factor, but I believe in growing and giving your stuff room to grow. So we have moved to a full ATX motherboard, and this will give you more space if you want to add at least three, maybe four smaller um, PCI, um, PCIe um, cards inside of here new GPU, other stuff like that, different capture cards, multiple capture cards if you want to. That gives you more space. The only thing I don't like about this board is that I only have one slot for NVMe. Not a big deal, but you know, if you were going to do something for like a, well, what this is used for, I don't believe you need to add extra storage like that for fast storage. So like if you were trying to use this kind of build for a video editing system, me personally, I go with a secondary or even a tertiary um, NVMe so that I can have a cache. And it looks like Amazon is here. I'm waiting for a delivery <laughs> for that. So let me hurry up and get that. But also from a case standpoint, and I can't zoom out enough of this, I am going back to using Fractal Design. I like this case. This is the Focus 2. Comes in different colors. Well, mainly comes in black and white. This is the one that originally a client ordered, but it was back ordered. So I get, got them a black case. So I have this white one. I'm actually building this for a install that I'm doing next week. So they get the benefit of having the new setup with the new presentation system that I'm doing. Also, I have a 600 watt power supply that we're going to put in here. Um, I still stick with EVGA bronze, um, bronze rated, uh, PSU, I don't know why I was stumbling over that, but that's mainly it. These are all the parts to this. Um, this is just going to be because this build is only going to have one display for the operator to see. The other output is going to go into the ATEM to put scripture and lyrics on the screen. We're not doing a confidence monitor or nothing, but let's go ahead, go to the top down view and let's go ahead and build the system.
All right, folks, we got everything up. I am going through the process of setting up the BIOS and then get everything configured so that we can install Windows on here. So pretty straightforward. I mean, it didn't really take me that long. I had like a little issue just with like the wiring, but it is a very straightforward install, very simple. Um, and I, I noted it in the video. I was actually incorrect. It does have two NVMe slots. So again, this is a good one. And I didn't even, I don't know what I was thinking. This is the exact same motherboard that I have inside of my streaming system. And I have two NVMEs in there. So anyway, that is really good. I'm going to go ahead and knock this out. Link is down below if you're interested in anything. Uh, I am going to be holding on to this system for a little bit. I install, start the install with the client maybe next week or the first week of August. That's what I have going on. Um, a lot of the stuff, um, that package I thought Amazon was here, that wasn't them. Um, actually, I have to, the TVs and all the other parts are actually gonna be delivered between today and Tuesday. So I'll probably get over to the church just to hand everything over. But anyway, I say all that to say that this system I'm gonna have for a little bit and I will have access to it while I'm doing the install at Mount Sinai. Um, I don't know if y'all remember that, I'll tag the video when we did that, um, but we're finally getting over there to install. But this is what is gonna be running the presentation system. This software and the system build is capable of any live streaming, not live streaming, but actually it is good for live streaming, but it's capable of any presentation software that is currently out there. These are the exact same specs, um, minus the motherboard that I have at my home church and we're running ProPresenter 7. Um, ProPresenter 6 is at Antioch. Uh, and then other clients have been using Presenter by Worship Tools, which is what I'm going to be putting on this one. But let me know. Link is down below if you're interested in me building one of them. All the specs are also listed down below if you want to follow this as a guide and putting everything together, if you got everything. So um, I think that's about it. So if you like this type of content, appreciate a like, consider subscribing, hit that bell. That way you get notified when we come out with other videos to help modernize your media ministry. Thanks for watching, folks. This is AJ. Catch you on the next video. Later.